The NBA 2K League has officially been disbanded and it's about to get stressful for a whole lot of people. The NBA and Take Two are reimagining the NBA 2K League into a global digital entertainment business driven by a bold new vision. The future business will combine NBA and Take Two brand assets and seek to engage consumers who live and play where pop culture, gaming, and basketball collide. The venture will feature a new digital media brand, immersive live events, and a revamped 2K competitive league. Okay, sadly, I can't say that I didn't see this coming. I kind of saw it coming down the line when they closed the doors on who could actually enter the league when it became more of a thing of these are the players and we'll select who we want to play instead of letting the general public in to play, i.e. content creators, the people that they called the 2K League hopefuls, if they may have let in more hopefuls or kept the door open for people to hope to be NBA 2K League players, I believe they would have had a better chance at building an audience or having people build an audience around what they were doing. And also, I advocated for them to have their league players build brands themselves. Every league player should have had a YouTube channel and a platform on every platform that they could build a platform within TikTok, Twitch, everywhere. I'm, I mean, those are just the main two. Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, they all should have had media packages. I know it would cost a lot to have someone with every player show them, but they were getting paid enough to pay editors, to pay film someone to film them, to pay Anybody they needed to pay in order to put content everywhere and flood the market with content on the Internet everywhere. I believe that's what should have been, but it's not what is. But other than that, I mean, when they closed the door to when I felt OK, personally, when I felt like I could not try out for the league anymore, I kind of I kind of knew then they're shutting out a lot of people. They're closing the door for a lot of people to enter into the league and that's going to mean that a lot of people will not really so much care about the NBA 2K league. I believe that was their biggest downfall and now that it's disbanded I can say that may have been the biggest downfall is taking out the the actual combine situation, a serious combine situation. Okay, in the first year, in the first couple of years, you know how they had, maybe you don't know. In the first year of the 2K league, they ran a contest where everybody could enter. They had an official combine with an official windows and dates and times for you to show up and log in and actually be there. Nowadays, these last couple of years, they had an event in the event center. This was not an event. This was official. This was this was actually you you show up because you know what you're showing up for. Because you've qualified to show up here and you know what you want to do and get done here in this combine. That was the first two years. When they stopped that, I kind of said, okay, this is getting this is getting a little bit close knit. They're trying to let they're trying to let us know that they don't want everybody, but they do want to be able to pick people up. Okay, with all that said, there was no way for this to go past 10 years without opening it up to the general public and without having a lot of these kids build brands. So, I mean, I just feel bad once again for the people who didn't build a brand around it, who didn't build up any kind of social media following for themselves, or at least get a YouTube channel monetized, at least. You know how much you can do with a YouTube channel these days? Just one YouTube channel, let alone maybe branding three or four different channels and a live stream every day. You got Chalk and Bear the Beast front running in the content creation situation. And Chalk isn't even in the league anymore. They kicked him out and said he couldn't come back. Bear the Beast uh, actually is thriving right now. And it's because they run their Twitch channel all day, every day. It's always available. And they don't give up on creating content as much content as they can and build a brand around themselves. So, I mean, I just feel, I feel like this was foreseen. I feel like it may have been by design. Maybe this league wasn't 
set up to be a thing forever anyway. Who knows? I don't know. I'm on the outside looking in. The one thing that I can say is that competitive pro-am is about to come back to the stage. The stage is about to come back to the people. These kids are not going to just stop playing 2K, stop playing basketball, but they set a precedent in the way that in, in the way that 2K will be played competitive going forward. We're going to have WR Pro-Am League changing up some things and definitely putting the axe to the stone and going hard on everything that they want to get going. Select never stopped. UPA never stopped. These overnights still run. So I just feel like that's going to bring a whole lot of people back to competitive Pro-Am for the people. And it's going to open doors for a lot of other people to get in. And it may be able to be bigger than the NBA 2K League was able to be. But who knows, going forward, it's just going to have to be a, a long road back to where we started from.